Betsy DeVos wants to ensure all students receive due process and in typical liberal fashion, the snowflakes are freaking out. Hi, I'm Tommy and it's time for Final Thoughts. Education Secretary Betsy DeVos put forth major changes to federal enforcement of Title IX, the statute that deals with gender-based discrimination and sexual misconduct in schools. The changes would largely restore due process protections for students accused of sexual assault. And you wouldn't think any rational or reasonable person would take issue with that. But then again, when have liberals been reasonable or rational about anything? Oh, just forget the liberals. Even the ACLU, which you'd think would support due process, takes issue with the changes. The ACLU, along with the leftist blogs, advocacy groups, and the Snowflake Coalition at large, insist rebalancing the scales of justice will cause victims of sexual assault to become less likely to report their rapists to campus authorities. It sounds like a valid concern, but guess what else is a valid concern? The due process of individuals, like cases we've seen time and time again involving male student athletes who are accused of rape, assault, harassment, or misconduct. Their lives are ruined by accusations. Much of this falls on the shoulders of our dear former president, Barack Obama. In 2011, the Obama-era Office for Civil Rights, a sub-agency within the Department of Education that monitors Title IX compliance, published a Dear Colleague letter explaining new requirements for campus sexual misconduct judgment. Now, the new requirements meant schools were obligated to investigate any complaints of unwelcome conduct of a sexual nature or risk loss of federal funding. Okay, seems fine. Oh, but there's more. The Office of Civil Rights also mandated school administrators use a preponderance of the evidence standard when ruling on a sexual misconduct case. That means cross-examination of the accuser is a no-no. Wait, what? Students, usually male, should have their reputations and lives permanently stained without due process? Where's the justice in that? Look, rape or any form of sexual misconduct is to be taken seriously and yes historically it has been more difficult for victims to be heard but that doesn't mean we try to compensate now by railroading the accused let's not forget the way justice brett kavanaugh was raked over the coals and nearly ruined based on a he said she said listen i am all for women's rights but mothers sisters girlfriends wives and grandmas certainly don't want the men in their lives to be treated unfairly either DeVos wants to ensure cross-examination, and that doesn't mean the accuser has to face her alleged attacker. It allows representation from both sides to do the questioning. DeVos also wants to do away with the single investigator model, meaning a single administrator won't be charged with investigating the case, gathering evidence, and determining guilt or innocence. And finally, she wants to change the language so the broad term, all unwanted contact, is narrowed. All of these changes are common sense. They protect the accused and the accuser. After all, equal treatment doesn't mean special treatment. This is America, and those are my final thoughts. From LA, God bless, and take care.